Hi everyone, uh, I'm going to show you how you can light a scene uh, using Lightbrush tool. So first I'm going to add a uh, light in the background. So I just put a point light there and I, I'll increase the intensity by this um, slider. So to have a bigger gradient, I will uh, make more distance to the wall and now uh, I don't want to have this light reflected to this uh, object all, all I have to do is to uh, remove the, uh, the first channel from the light and assign to the third one and then select the background and assign uh, that background to the third uh, lighting channel so let's add um, some uh, highlight here. I, I just click add light and drag to, to where I want to have the light um, highlight. So I uh, decrease the move speed to have more control over where I want to put that highlight. So this is where I want to have it. and. And then uh, by holding Control and Shift, you can manipulate the light color. I need more distance, so I make it a little bit farther. But by changing the uh, distance value, I need a little bit more uh, intensity. So um, now I want to have a back backlight here. So I better to use, for example, a spotlight and use this backlight option. It's like when you, let's increase the move speed. When you uh, move your mouse over an object, it will uh, inverse the normal. I mean, calculate the inverse normal. So it will actually do the uh, backlighting. So as you can see here, Let's decrease it again to have more control. So for example, here is where I want it. I will like move it a little bit up and by holding a control, I am uh, now rotating the light to where I want it. So as you can see, I have that green light. Let's change some color and a uh, little bit of more intensity. Now let's add some lighting to just the cheese uh, mesh. So I will add, uh, for example, a spotlight or any other light sources. I will uh, select add light, select spotlight and click drag to have my light here. And I will make a little bit distance and increase the intensity to have the brightness I want and then I will put this light on the second channel so none of the objects here are, are not assigned to a uh, second channel I can show you like uh, if you can, if you select the uh, static mesh component, you will see like which channel this object is on. So let's say uh, this actor is on the second channel as well. So if I want to um, uh, light the uh, just the cheese object, I just have to select the actor and uh, hit remove enable light channel to select an actor button so by doing this it will remove the second channel from the selected actor all all the static mesh components under it and then select just the mesh and then select just the cheese uh, static mesh component and assign it to it as you can see now that light is just affecting the uh, cheese mesh. Now, since this cheese has two parts, I, I can select the upper part and assign it to it as well. So here we go. That's that's it. 
please give me your feedbacks and me messages about what you want to have in this tool or any feature you need to be added into this tool. Thank you so much.